Ever since the East Empire Trading Company moved into Skyrim, it's been throwing its weight around, choking out smaller locally owned businesses, like Bellathor's general goods store. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them one of your relatives. <laughs> So, the next time you're looking to fulfill your pharmaceutical needs, consider shopping with the East Imperial Trading Company instead. A grassroots brand born in the heart of Falkreath. We use fresh, homegrown ingredients to craft potions that we know you'll love. Available in stores now. This message was paid for by the East Imperial Trading Company, which bears no association with the East Empire Trading Company. Side effects may include nausea, headaches, shortness of breath, diarrhea, nosebleeds, cramps, blindness, organ failure, death, and spontaneous Daedra summoning. Do not speak to the Daedra. Do not speak to the Daedra. Ask your priest or healer if East Imperial potions are right for you. Yes? Meet the CEO of EITC, and our hero, Joe Joman, who founded the company a whole week ago to fund his campaign for High King of Skyrim. Since he still had a lot of funds left to raise, he was ready to do some serious business. But the plants at EITC only replenish every three in-game days. So, in the meantime, we decided to ramp up our production by acquiring some enchanted gear that would make our potions stronger and more valuable. For this, we hopped on a carriage to Dawnstar. We're at 15.8% favor with Sanguine. You know, let me just, let me fix that a little bit here. I know this is what he'd want. A yeah, nice drink. Cold out here anyways. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams, so don't ask. How'd you pick up the herb trade? A fellow, a fellow dealer here. How'd you get into the biz? My husband. We used to go out into the wilds and collect ingredients together. After he died, it's quite romantic, if you're an alchemist. It's, it's romantic if you're not an alchemist, ma'am. Frost took the old fool a few seasons back while he was looking for the ring of pure mixtures. Frost took the old fool? What? Frost took him? I found the ring's resting place, but I'm far too old to go exploring some cave now. I'm sorry, do you, do you know Frost? Is he- <laughs> well, what does that mean? I gotta look into this matter for sure. Intrigued by an alchemy ring and the possible connection to his late horse Frost, Joe headed for Forsaken Cave. I knew I'd find you. Another one of these lizards, huh? Be gone, foul beast! <laughs> He's returning fire! He's over the hill! Am I hitting it? Oh, here it is. What? That was the lamest cinematic ever. What? Well, now we can't confirm if the arrows were hitting it or not. All right, Mayo. We got a ride to go find a find out about a horse that used to look exactly like you. The High King of the future High King of Skyrim removes his crown because he's a little chilly. Okay, we're actually very chilly. We might not make it. How far do we have to go? Shit, okay. Well, giant camps have like big ass fires, right? We'll, we'll go take a small breather over there at this giant camp to warm up. Oh, shelter, warm. Excuse me. I'm just trying to warm up over here. Don't mind me. Is this working? Joe, warm up, get, get right up in there. You can't seem to get any warmer. How is this not warming him up? <laughs> He's sticking his hands in the fire. Oh, Feindal, you might not want to walk over there. Feindal, I would stay away from him if I were you. Oh shit, okay, he's getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, obviously Feindal, why would you walk up to him? Oh god. Oh no, no, not the horse. Stay away from Mayo. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> You son of a bitch, I just got that horse! Oh my god. I can't even hit him. My hands are shaking. I'm crying. I can't see. He didn't even make it to his first oil change. <sighs> Mayo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you lasted for not even a full episode. May your soul gallop in horse and guard forever.
with the passing of our fourth mount and with the massive fire providing zero warmth whatsoever we were forced to crawl inside the corpse of mayo and cast our shelter scroll to survive before continuing on foot <laughs> next horse will be called ketchup yeah well we'll get a we'll get a red horse next time <laughs> Real quick, I gotta hop in here to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch where we film these live. Thanks, and remember, don't do skooma. Buy Joe a drink. Done. Joe, drink up. It says buy, spend money. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll re-up at the next inn. All I can do right now, I, I'm in a, a middle of a frozen wasteland. I can't just buy a <laughs> buy Joe a drink right now. Alright, here. I can give Joe two drinks. I, that's the best I can offer. Wow. It, the favor just goes straight up every time we drink. This is gonna be bad for Joe's health. <laughs> no, no, buy them. I, listen, I will buy them. Actually, you know what? We're going straight past the Night Gate Inn right now anyways. Just an honest working man pulling himself up by his bootstrap. Did I? Oh my god. <laughs> Ambush! Ambush! Oh! All right, I, I can't quite see well. I, there's there's two of them, I'm seeing double. Aindal, is that you? I can't, I can't quite tell. There's blood in my eyes. Oh, wow. Okay, I definitely need to stop at the night gate in now. Get him another drink. Dude, was that two more? Is that two more drinks? At this point, chat began spamming the buy Joe a drink channel point reward. All right, Joe, try to keep all your blood in your body. You're going to need it to keep your BAC down when you have these seven drinks you're now due. 10? 11? <laughs> yeah, this is way more drinks than he had to celebrate killing Ulfric. Or just, <laughs> we just randomly decided to just get him absolutely hammered. It's 11 now? Okay. I can relate to Joe. I feel like this 24 7. If you if you feel like this 24 7, if, if this is what it looks like to you, I feel like you should see a doctor. Need a room? Or maybe just some mead? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll go for just the mead today. After chugging 13 consecutive ales to appease Sanguine and causing irreversible damage to Joe's liver, we were back and ready to go the next day. Oh, we fully recovered from a near death experience, it said. I'm trying to figure out if the near-death experience was the wolf attack or the 16 bottles of ale we drank in one sitting. Is this the spot? Ah, uh, this looks nice and warm. Okay, that looks the opposite of warm. Fangdahl, can you kill that thing? Hopefully we won't freeze to death in this cave. Come on, gang. Frost, <laughs> you know, maybe Frost is in here some. Oh my god. I just, I'm having a lot of, this hangover is killer. We need something to ease off of it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Everything's so much more colorful now. <sighs> My mistake. We're gonna need two of those bad boys. Come at me now, snake boy. Oh, yeah. The skooma is not helping me hit these shots. Where is it? Somebody kill it! Thank you, Feindal. <laughs> Feindal's my DD now. He's, he's my chaperone. Joe, you need to- s please, you have a family. You need to stop heading to the path with booze and drugs. I can stop anytime I want. Hold on, I just need a little... Uh, I need a little ale. Getting thirsty. It helps me with my archery. 26.8%. We're already up 10% on the day. Sanguine loves us. The supple ancient Nord bow. Wait, 27 damage? Is that good? Oh, it's one higher damage. Yo, sweet bow upgrade. This thing's old and crusty looking. Just like Joe will be in the next two years of skooma usage. Which standing stone is Joe using? I believe we're still using the thief stone for our, uh, for our stealth. Or it might be warrior stone. Actually, we might be, you know what? It's actually a fantastic question. Yeah, we are on the thief stone. <laughs> what? Bro, these traps, these traps are something else in this cave. There are some, this is not because Joe's on Skooma. These are expert dwar or Draugr engineers. Oh, it was right here. Guys, do not step on this, please. Okay, wait, now I need a sprint. They're gonna step on it. <sighs> I knew it, I, I knew it. Now check this out. This is what makes Joe high king material. Fools. Miko, don't don't step in front of me. Okay, or just bite them. 
See this one? Miko? I don't know what happened to Miko, but he's not biting anymore. He's become like a point dog. Maybe Miko doesn't support Joe's bad habits. Miko! <laughs> he's slipping! Miko, you're gonna fall! That would help you up, but my my hands are just so full right now. Hold on, I'll, I'll help you in a second, buddy. I need it. I'm thirsty. Pain doll, get him up. Joe Joman's too busy drinking to help his dear friend. Guys, it was important. I was dying of thirst. That's what Miko would have wanted. Hey, another Storm Atronach scroll. That's nice. Who are you? Coral Mill. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm gonna need a little something for this. This is the boss fight. <sighs> oh, and an ale. There we go. All right, guys. Now I'm ready to fight. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. Uh, oh. No arrows equipped. I'm out of arrows again. Bane doll, distract him. Oh, this is bad. Arrows. Oh. Well, here's our ring at least that we came for. That doesn't really help with the immediate scenario though. Where's Miko? Is he still stuck on the ledge? Just keep shooting him, Feindal. I'll distract him. Oh. Oh my god, that could have killed me. Easy. <sighs> this calls for a drink. Mm-mm-mm. Wait, so are we supposed to, like, give this ring back to her? <sighs> yeah, about that. I think I'm just gonna borrow it for a little bit. I feel like I could just use it better than she could, you know? I'll bring it back, I promise. I swear I'll bring it back sometime. Let me just, uh... We'll just hide that objective for the time being. Yeah, and we didn't see Frost anywhere. I think she's a liar. After securing the ring and completing our sanguine-led dungeon quest of hedonism, we plotted our return to the East Imperial base of operations. Sorry, sir, do you sell- do you happen to sell horses? I hope you got the coin. Here's my offer. That's your best offer? I suppose so. Well... Hello, ketchup. After cooking up another batch, we needed to find some customers. So, we headed to the best place in Skyrim to find plentiful scumbags and degenerates. Riften. Uh-oh. That, was that what I think it was? That sounds bad. Oh! <laughs> the FBI sent another raid! They're trying to shut down the business! Oh, uh, I'm gonna need something to take the edge off for this. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, where- where is he? Let me at him! <laughs> I see looking at me like that. <gasps> okay, fair. You know what? Fair. That probably is why he was looking at me like that. There he is! Wait, it's- <laughs> It's my supplier, it's my- it's my distributor! Bro! <laughs> take cover! Actually, you know what? Now's the perfect time to do business. Miko, quick! Hand me the product, Miko! Miko, he's getting away! Oh my god. Miko's refusing to do business until we kill the dragon. Wait, stay here, sir. Kill it. It's bad for business. <laughs> it's hurting the economy. Oh, I think it's down. Okay, I was wrong. Now it's down. <laughs> After successfully evading the DEA dragon, Joe sealed the deal. But the stressful encounter used up the rest of his skooma supply. Since we had another three days to wait, we decided to take a little trip to a nearby skooma den to establish business relations. Hmm. Now this looks like a lovely, trustworthy establishment. Ah. Hello, good sir. What you're looking for is down inside. Oh. Sure thing, sir. <laughs> Why does Joe look so disgusted? <laughs> Joe, come on, don't turn your nose up already. We haven't even seen the inside. If you're going downstairs, you keep yourself to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Sure thing, doorman. Ah. Uh, smell that? Oh yeah. My people. Now these are the true blue-collar <laughs> citizens of Skyrim. Hello, ma'am. Oh, welcome, welcome. I don't believe we've seen you here before, have we? You can buy from me, then join any booth you'd like. Oh. What about a what about a little sample, huh? Sensitive first time. Sure. If I 
find a booth and enjoy. See what about another sample? Time. How about you pay for your habit like everybody else? All right. What do you have for sale? Oh. Oh, look at this. The red water skooma. Three gold each. Thank you. After a quick quality check. Ah. That's nice. Well, let me ask you a question, ma'am. I love what you're doing with the place here. I really do. I wonder if perhaps you'd be down to uh, make a little business. I could supply you with some fantastic product equal to the fine goods that you're selling here. Fine. Suit yourself. Fine, suit yourself? I'll take that as a yes. However, before engaging in any kind of business deal, he needed to inspect the back of house. Hey, you guys just kind of happened to leave this door unlocked back here, so I'm going to go check it out. Oh, he's electrocuting Miko! Villain! What? Oh my god, she had a gun hidden under the counter! You know what? Fine then. The deal's off. Hostile takeover it is. They were probably just too high on skooma to understand what I was talking about. Maybe there's still hope for our business venture. Hello, sir. I'm your new business partner. No need to... Okay, yeah, okay, business is off. Nope. Nope, yeah, no more business. I should have known. Never trust a skooma addict. Oh, got him. <sighs> well, it's different when I do it, though. Hello? Somebody's, somebody's yelling things. I don't, I might be hallucinating. Oh man, this is some, let me tell you, they do have some strong product here. It's affecting my vision. It's getting hard to tell where I'm going. Oh, there you are. It's like nobody's interested in skooma or business down here. It's mostly just murder. Oh, I'm sorry, Miko. It's just the, it's the skooma. Oh man. Can't believe I just shot Miko. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a drink to forget about that. Ah, oh, this place is so cool. So colorful and blurry. I wonder how they got it like that. Ow! 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 Bad touch! Bad room! Oh! No. <laughs> is that a... Is that a person? Am I seeing that right? I can't... I can't quite tell what I'm looking at here. Oh, I hit it. Whatever it was. Oh, <laughs> they're dead. You should have never crossed the path of Joe Joman. Ugh. I need some more skooma. Whew. Hmm. The secret path. Well. <laughs> I think we just overdosed on skooma. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't... Actually, guys, he that wasn't Joe ODing on skooma. It was just a very slippery hill there. Very dangerous. Oh my god, there's more. Miko, they're your... They're dogs. You kill them. You're a dog. Miko? Go to the sounds of dog fighting. We'll find him. Oh, there he is. Beautiful shot. See, I'm I'm fully functional, Fane doll. Oh, I'm I'm far too sober right now. Let's fix that. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's good. That's good right there. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, <gasps> the boss said it's some sort of profane spring. Am I okay? But it's not the real thing. Oh, you have a skooma addiction. <laughs> what, what does this mean for us? Well, Joe, the only thing I can imagine is that means that you're good to have some more skooma. Pretty sure a skooma addiction means you've built up a tolerance, so you need to have some more. Ah, yeah. Oh. That was awkward. I shot Miko again. I'm sorry, Miko. Daddy's sorry. It's all the skooma. Oh, please give me some arrows. He doesn't have any arrows. What? Oh. oh! Oh my god! By sheer luck, we survived the- What is this? What kind of nightmare death trap did we just fall into? Oh man, this skooma trip is something. <laughs> Maybe you should go back to chopping wood. Oh, I think I might need to lay off the skooma a little bit. <laughs> it's starting- It's really starting to get to me. I need a nail to calm my nerves.
Oh my god, there's pressure plates everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna- I'm gonna quick save now. I just feel like something bad is definitely gonna happen. I, okay, yeah. <laughs> Think we should check it out? Maybe we should- Jesus, watch out, pain doll. Oh my god. Miko, stop touching it. Oh, oh my god, we gotta get out of this hallway. <laughs> Miko, are you okay? Oh, he's fine. Oh, oh god. Miko is not tanking like I thought he was. <laughs> Joe, a drug addiction won't help you in your High King campaign. Yeah, but it'll, it helps me calm down. It helps me clear my thoughts. Wait, Miko, wait for that. <laughs> that guy has a name. That's bad. Joe, it's okay to admit you have a problem. We are here for you. <sighs> I can I can stop anytime I want. At this point, Joe had completely succumbed to Sanguine's influence. And although he defeated the dungeon boss, the true final boss still lay ahead. A test of will. Oh, Is it just me or does that look delicious? As Joe drank straight from the source of the unholy skooma, his body suffered untold damage. He had finally reached rock bottom. Mule loves and supports us. I'm sure she'll understand. It's not even a big deal, guys. I, just, I, I had one little bit of skooma and solitude. Just a little bit. I need to get nice and cozy and wrapped up. Whoa. What the f*** is that? What? what? So, somebody kill it! Oh my... Ah! You damn Riften Bears! Oh, I, I definitely need a nap. There's, I think I've had too much skooma today. What? What the... What the f*** just happened? Feindal, do we... Do we even leave? <laughs> We're at this... Wait, we gotta get out of here. Skooma, you know what? I see it now. I see it now. The skooma is a problem. I don't know what's real anymore. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel awful, ma'am. That's how I feel. Joe, it's about time we got you in some rehab. This is why they say, don't get high on your own supply. We need to go see our family. We need we need our support group. You have become addicted to skooma. You'll experience skooma withdrawal over the next three to four days, during which time your withdrawal will become progressively worse before subsiding slowly. You can drink more skooma to temporarily relieve your withdrawal symptoms, but doing so will undo any progress you made in overcoming your addiction. Ah, <sighs> hello. Hello, my beautiful wife. I need I just need a little bit of money. Yo, the thing is, I f***ing love skooma. <laughs> I did not mean to click. <laughs> I meant to pray to Sanguine. Oh god. The, the skooma, he, made, he shoved his wife on the ground. Since Joe couldn't be trusted around his family, Feindal took him back to the EITC HQ for rehab and hired a detox support specialist. Our whole body aches, our limbs feel stiff, we're running a high fever and we're exhausted, our brain feels addled and foggy, we're generally clumsy, our muscles are twitching uncontrollably, our joints are swollen and stiff, bringing chronic pain. Uh, and our Magicka recovers MAG% percent slower. That one doesn't sound that bad. Joe had a hard road ahead of him if he wanted to get clean. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs>